Hey guys, we're back now with a new port vessel cam motor on the Catch Power 100. Kill switch was in the car. You know how many tests I didn't get to do because I forgot either a remote or a kill switch or a complete battery. Not today. All right, so I'm gonna attach a kill switch to myself so we don't lose it. And we're gonna attach that camera over there. Let's bring the battery back step by step, guys. This is old dirty because we went fishing yesterday to do a crazy video for you guys. And uh, that video is coming Sunday. Don't know when this video is gonna come up, but video is coming Sunday. It's good. It's good to be back. Back on the water. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a little out here away from the grass and then we're just gonna turn this puppy up and we're gonna test the speed no eye crab testing today real fish finder today that's what's up i want to see how fast this thing goes all i'm gonna do is push here down there hopefully hopefully you saw that. we're in business mode to lithium turn it on Let's get out of here quick. Hey guys, welcome to another crazy episode of testing motor with Alias right here in my favorite little lake. Cause we get to test our motors and do crazy stuff. Now, the setup that we have here today is the Catch Power 100 with the Newport Vessel Direct Drive Kayak motor. And we got our amazing Amp Outdoors lithium batteries. Lithium batteries is the way to go. There's no question about it and if you use coupon code alias5 it's gonna save you five percent and also help the channel so grab your batteries i've been using this battery for over two years and have zero complaint and they haven't broken and you know i break everything now let's talk about this poor vessel the red drive motor do you know that you have reverse and uh it's pretty fast but you also need to know that you can use coupon code alias50 and save you fifty dollars for purchases or $500 at the new Port Vessel store. So all that information is gonna be linked down below. Now, I don't get any kickback from them as now. Maybe in the future we do, but for now that coupon is just for you guys. Let's get to business. God, I don't know if you heard, uh, that sounded like a thunderstorm. So let's get to this. The way I have this set up, I'm gonna show you that later, but it's just a transom mount setup that I have here. It's plug and play, I love that. And I have my own little attachment to control it. So I got my trusted fish finder here, you see it over there. I wanna show you how fast this thing goes in low, medium, and high speeds. So let's go. All right, so right now we're just pushing 15%, 24 watts. And we're going, fish finder says we're going 1.5 miles an hour. This is like super slow. You could go slower if you want, depending on the current and stuff like that. Maybe you wanna stay in position. You just put a little power and you just give it a little power and you stay in that perfect position fishing. Let's say you wanna go a little faster. I'm gonna put it at 50%, I have it right there. It's 174 watts that we're pushing right now and we're going at 3.1 miles an hour, 3.2. Now, dude, 50% on those two Amp Outdoors Lithium batteries, 60 at hours each in, in, in series. Dude, you could go for like days, days. And it's three miles an hour on the catch. I do have to say the catch power is not a fast kayak for motors like this. It's gonna be a slow boat because of how wide it is. And they're designed to pretty much take a 2.5 and plane. So that, bear that in mind. Sorry, I didn't wanna speak against the wind. So now I got the wind to my back and I could tell you more about this motor. I wanna take it down to about 75% look at that we're going 75 percent right now and that's 3.9 miles an hour that's sort of weird 3.9 75 percent 3.9 miles an hour hmm we're gonna see pretty soon if it's worth going maximum speed putting all that like sucking all that power from the batteries and see how much faster you go i just briefly hit four miles an hour like guys it all depends on conditions and everything else. Like I was saying earlier, this boat was designed to take an hour board pretty much. And I'm just gonna kill the motor here because I don't wanna go over this grass. So the speeds that you get for this boat 
you're looking at 4. Point, maybe maybe we're gonna max out 4.2 miles an hour we're gonna test that right now but it's not gonna be a fast motor if you put the same motor on a hobie outback or you put it on a bonafide ss127 that we're gonna try to test this weekend you're gonna see that you're gonna get at least 5.2 maybe more miles per hour so i could have gone in reverse here but i'm saving the reverse test for later let me get over there to the other side of the lake and we're just gonna go maximum speed on the way back to see how fast we go like that let's do a donut oh dude like this thing turns even faster than than the journey for sure all right so we're gonna put this thing at maximum speed going that way we're gonna look at our trusted fish finder right there to see how fast we're going and let's just do it guys boom 96 percent not sure why it doesn't go to 100 we, like i said earlier in our previous video we're gonna work on that 520 watts i think it max out anyways at 520 watts or so so i want to keep it on a straight line and then we're gonna see how fast we're going mr fish finder is gonna tell us see 4.1 miles an hour at 75 percent we were going at four miles an hour now a maximum we're going at 4.1 it's, it, it's not worth to crank it up all the way to at least on this boat to crank it all the way up to 96 percent it's not gonna go past four miles an hour it's 4.1 right now 4.2 briefly so i was talking about donuts watch this dude i gotta be careful i might flip on this thing for real what dude, look at this on the spot now now let's say you're gonna hit something Let's say you go about to hit something. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Hear that row? Oh, it says 100% in reverse. I wonder if something is not right. Let me take a quick note of that. 60, 60 is uh, about two miles, but it's really hard because we started going in circle. Let's just put it all the way back up. See if we could keep it going straight and see how fast we're going. 2.3 miles an hour on a circle. Let me see if I move over here. Mm -mm. We uh, we're asking for trouble. <laughs> see, we're asking for trouble. 4.3. Yeah, not safe. Not safe. I was asking for trouble. Like this thing just turns on his own and I'm, I'm i'm finding the water for sure nah, oh my god uh guggen bait right here from chop calls and uh we happen to have a rod with just one hook what the deal is and uh what what you want me to catch a fish Okay, now this is a, a sort of like a Cinco, longer love for an inch, and I think you just, I, I never fished with this before, but I think you just attach it here. If you had a little rubber thingy, you could save on bait, but we don't have the rubber thingy. And then you just like, supposed to throw it and, and, and work it, like, and, and a fish will eat it. Let's see. 